Bulldog, and welcome to another makeover. Lovely makeover. So today's client is my cousin. I'm doing a full makeover on her here and the makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And please do excuse the format of this video. It was very impromptu. I have a very small foot, but somehow my foot kept kicking the stand and it was moving. So some parts were very up close, some parts um, points were very lean, but you guys get the gist. So you guys know the process of doing here already, or you should know. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Any steps that you did not understand, or you want to elaborate on what you don't understand, just leave a comment down below. So we're using got to be to glue down, um, to lay down the edges and to glue down the wig. Well, not glue, tack it down um, as much as possible. We're getting that lady. See, my foot keep the stand. Uh, but anyways, and excuse me, I was my my hair was in shambles because I was about to get ready as well. Um, so yeah. Um, using the band and the blow dryer to get the blade and tack down as best as possible. I'm not gonna talk all the way through because you guys know the Jason body and as I said if you don't know anything um, just comment down below so yeah Alright, so the repetitive of blow drying and glowing is all in the process of lace application. So that's what we have to repeat over and over. So at this point now we're applying the glue for the lace, the actual glue, the lace glue. And I'm using Isha lace glue, I believe. I will try and link it down below from Amazon. I bought this from Amazon. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely link this down below so you guys can see check it out it's the waterproof glue very good glue i would definitely recommend it
right now so we're at the section of the signing of the hair now so we're taking out the baby ears or i'm taking out the baby ears i'm gonna have her hold it aside because it's not completely cured because you know you have to cure cure and set that glue um i'm taking out the baby hairs and then i'm gonna swoop to the swoop and she loves her bold baby hair so you're gonna see me taking out like a lot and very bold and then we're we're also hot combing as we go along because we want that hair to be laid and slayed and look like it's coming from within of the scalp yeah so we gotta lay the hair and do all of that so we're doing the baby hairs now <laughs> Alright, so as it's a water wave kind of style, you see we're using water and a little bit of condition to activate those curls and get it all tamed and comb, and comb it through and all of that. Um, so that's what I'm doing here while the band is melting those baby ears and the lace all in. <laughs> All right, so I've had taken out the baby ears to lay them for later. Um, so that's what we're doing now. We're laying those baby ears. We're swooping, swooping. Um, the tip is for doing your baby ears, even though I'm not perfect at it yet. You have to use your fingers. You have to lay your fingers to scoot it with the brush to direct the hair where you want it to go. You have to tweeze a little if it needs to take out a little, take out a lot, or whatever you need to do. And you have to have your little um, scissors to trim those ears as well. Trim them. Um, another great tip is to curl them. If you have a small curler, um, those tiny ones that everybody's using now, that would be easier. It helps it to lay a lot curlier and fluffy. Um, and it's easier for the swoops to go where they need to go. But yeah, we're gonna put on back the band and let those set in place. And I think we're gonna head into doing the face after this. So this will be the last time you probably hear me. We're just doing something quick and simple for the face. Just a little natural smokey with a little orange lip. And we didn't get the end shot, um, but you can probably see some pictures on it on Instagram of this look um, so yeah go over to Moya Lovely if you want to see that and more so yeah continue watching I hope you enjoy guys
Yeah.